Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Print Friday. So I've got a number of different new projects that I'm working on, but none are quite ready to show you guys yet. So instead, I want to show you a print that I designed a couple years ago, um, why I designed it, and what problem it solved for us. So we're down in the basement of my house, and this basement was not originally a finished space in the house. It was originally just you know concrete floor and concrete walls. Uh, the people that we bought the house from, they finished the basement, or they sort of half finished the basement. Uh, there was no uh, heating or cooling down here. And we've since added a few vents. There's one over here uh, at the bottom of the stairs where they come down. Um, there's another one over on the other side of the basement, but there was no intake vent for the air handler. So really it was kind of counting on uh, these vents pushing air into the space and it making its way upstairs uh, to get cycled back into the heating system. The air handler for the, the heating and cooling system is on the other side of this door. Let me show you. All right, so this is the air handler for our heating and cooling system. So this side is basically just the return stack coming down, goes through a filter, uh, and then kind of makes a U-turn, comes back up, and then the air is either heated or cooled, depending on which season we're in. Um, again, the problem is it's sucking air in from the first and second floor of our house, but wasn't sucking any air in from the, the basement down here. So what I did to fix that was just to simply cut a hole up here in the return stack. Um, and you can see after I cut the hole, I added a piece of tape here to kind of tune uh, the amount of air that's coming into the system. I actually originally intended to come back here and design in 3D print sort of uh, uh, a sliding system here to be able to control the amount of air coming into this. Uh, but it's worked really well since I just cut the hole and blocked off a little bit with a piece of tape. So I never came back and fixed that. But we're in like a little room here uh, with doors. This is an unfinished space, it's storage. So I needed a way to actually get the air into this space. So what I did is I added a vent into the bottom of the door. And that vent, you guessed it, that's our 3D printed part. All right, hopefully that's a better view. So you notice we're down here at almost floor level and we can't see through this guy. Um, I had two things in mind when I designed this. I wanted to pass the maximum amount of air for the size of the hole I was gonna cut in the door. Um, and I didn't want to be able to see through this. So the slats are at an angle that you've got to be basically laying on the floor to actually be able to see through this guy. Any other position, you just see the surface of the slats, but we maximize the airflow through there. And to cut the hole in the door, what I did is I 3D printed a template first of the size of the piece that was going to go through the door, put that up on the door, marked it out, I drilled each of the four corners, and then I just used a scroll saw to go in and cut the opening in the door. And this is actually just hot glued in place. Um, I originally had four screw holes in my design, kind of thought it's really overkill. It's not like I'm ever gonna take the thing out of the door. I ended up just hot gluing it in. It stayed just fine. So let's go take a look at the design for this and see what I missed. All right, and here is the design for this. And you can see I turned on some dimensions. Um, the maximum width of the vent part of this is 246 millimeters. Uh, I printed these on my Prusa i3 Mark III. The maximum width that I can do on that printer is 250 millimeters. So I don't want to push my luck. I left myself two millimeters of space on either side of the print. Um, you'll notice I relieved a number of the edges on this print as well. Um, I did want to note here, notice that this is not a curved edge, that this is a bevel here. This is the face that's going against the print bed. If you try and do a curved face, if you've ever tried and, and done one off the bed, it's going to have a real issue trying to print the first couple of layers because the overhang is just too steep. But if you do a 45 degree bevel, it looks just as nice from my opinion, and you're going to get a much cleaner edge here. Uh, also notice since this is the face that's going down against the bed, the slats extend all the way to the very front edge of this vent uh, so that there's no supports required. This contacts the bed just the same as the border um, of the, uh, the front face of the vent. Uh, this thickness here is determined by the thickness of your door. You could easily modify this if you have a thicker or a thinner door, or if you're gonna instead use this in, uh, in just a wall or something else thinner where you don't need this full depth. Uh, the slats do come up about three quarters of the way. Uh, but you could reduce them in height as well. Just keep in mind if you reduce the height of these, if you don't want to be able to see through the vent, you may need to increase the angle that they're laying over um, to be able to block uh, someone seeing through that if you don't want, um, you know, if you don't want to be able to see through the vent. Now, I cut the corners off as well. Again, that's just purely aesthetic. Uh, and the other piece here is the template. This is the part that I printed first. 
uh, and I just taped this to the door across the middle section here um, and then traced this uh, and then I drilled each one of the four corners and then connected those holes with a scroll saw in the door. Do take time to make sure you're cutting straight. Um, I didn't show you in the inside of my door, but the cut's a little crooked on one of the faces because just given the thickness of the door, it is a little bit tough to stay straight when you're only seeing just the side of the door that you're, that you're cutting. So I think that covers pretty much all the design features on here. Again, pretty quick one this week. Like I said, I've got a number of projects that I'm working on uh, that I'll be ready to share soon. But if this is your first time on the channel, I do a new video like this every Friday. So if you enjoyed this, consider hitting that like button. And if you really liked it a lot, hit that subscribe button. And guys, if you do subscribe, I will see you next Friday.